Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. This is the post-fight review for the Mega Madrazo Majidov vs. Saret Delgado fight, which was in Hollywood, Florida, the United States. Some pretty concerning after-the-fight scenes with uh, Delgado not able to stay upright. Um, Mega Madrazo Majidov had to actually go over and support um, Delgado's weight for a time. Uh, he obviously had stopped him here. This is why he was in a bad way. Um, but yeah, for about maybe 30 seconds or so, he was um, in the position where he was holding him up they were trying to get a stool in to sort of sit him down wasn't in a good way heading into this fight Delgado had a record of 8 and 0 but to me that did look a little bit padded looked a little bit too pretty and potentially um you know would be able to um, have some holes poked in it and Majidov was the one to actually poke those holes and it looked he was always going to get the win here it was just when it was going to happen um, in the first round it was very sort of um, strange because you had Delgado the first 10 seconds or so he looked aggressive and you thought, well, maybe he will be sort of competitive in here. But then he went into a shell for about two minutes for the rest of um, this round or so and didn't really sort of do much of anything. It was only the last sort of maybe 30 or 40 seconds where he thought, I better throw some punches. And he was almost exclusively looking for a left hook. About 10 seconds to go in the first round, Majidov does catch up with Delgado. And for a moment there, because he was um, hit and he looked stunned pretty badly. I mean, the commentators were saying they thought maybe he looked like he was knocked out. Um, but yeah, it was just for a moment or so. And then he, I don't want to say recovered, but he sort of snapped out of whatever he was in. I, th I certainly thought he looked like he was hurt, he was stunned, uh, but because it was a few seconds left in the round, he was able to um, get out of the round and then um, obviously came back in the second. And from there, it really was uh, just a matter of time. The second round started to resemble more of target practice. Mega Madras or Ma Majidov was really just sort of getting away whatever he wanted, trying to um, open up and break down Delgado, and he was able to do that. There was some good body work in there, and he was looking for right hands, trying to split the guard or either go around it. And he was um, starting to have increasingly more and more success. And into the third round, didn't look like it was going to go too long. The, his corner had actually said to Delgado you need to actually do something and show us something here otherwise we're going to pull you out they didn't like what they were seeing Majidov was really starting to just pick him apart and you know get whatever he wanted away and he came out quite aggressive for that third round but it was only a matter of time gets caught with a big left hook this is uh, sort of the moment after that landing and from here it was all downhill and within about the next 10 seconds or so he was sort of backed up across the ring onto the ropes Majidov teeing off on him a couple of big right hands land the referee had seen enough jumps in and right at the moment where he was jumping in Delgado taking a couple of really big gulping gasps of air and you knew yeah this is it's, he's done stick a fork in him and he's done and he didn't look in a good way for the next few rounds um, as I say Majidov had to help support him initially uh, but the question I was having was well where are they he's clearly struggling to get some enough oxygen in here he was starting to get a little bit emotional too seemed to be crying as well uh, but they needed to get some oxygen in there or something. They needed to take care of his welfare. I mean, no one was even there sort of, um, you know, flapping a towel in his face to try and get a bit more air in his face. Um, and that was something Majidov gestured for them to do, but no one did it. So I was a little bit disappointed with what I was saying. I was thinking, are they actually really taking care of this guy? Where's the oxygen? And as one of the commentators noted, um, a couple of people who have suffered post um, sort of fight injuries that have been either you know, fatal or long lasting, um, sometimes it hasn't been the sort of immediate aftermath. Sometimes it can happen minutes later after they've left the ring, get to the dressing rooms and such. So it was a little bit disappointing on that front, the sort of care that Salgado was getting because I thought maybe they could have done better. And I certainly think there has been more urgency and other sort of fight cards that I've seen where someone has been stopped in this sort of similar fashion. But anyway, of the win, Majidov, he looked good. 
He looked relatively impressive. He was accurate with his punches. And I don't necessarily think he's the biggest puncher, but he does have some pop. And when he connects, it hurts. And he's relatively accurate with his work. So he moved to 3-0 off the back of that. And yeah, this was his first fight of 2020. So it's been a long time between drinks for Majidov. His last fight was on the Anthony Joshua rematch card with Andy Ruiz Jr. in December 2019 when he stopped Tom Little in impressive fashion. So hopefully we do see Majidov again in the next month or so. There is a couple of different cards that are coming up. So maybe he will sort of slot onto one. He didn't really take any punishment or damage in this one. But remembering now, he's also 34 years old. So he does need to get cracking and sort of make a move in the heavyweight division. They're going to have to sort of put their hand in their pocket to pay to get decent opponents to face this guy because no one's going to want to face a you know former three-time amateur world champion for peanuts or just voluntarily. No one's just going to sort of step in there and say, yeah, I'll take on that challenge unless they're getting handsomely paid. So yeah, I could see them having a few issues trying to match him with some of the fighters that they'd like to get him in with. But for a guy who's only 3-0, and you know, that does present the, you know, he's high risk, possibly low reward as well. But what did you make of this performance? Good win. Shame about the um, after-fight care for Salgado. Hopefully he is okay and recovering, and hopefully we see um, Magomedrazel Majidov back soon. What do you make of it all? Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.